for three weeks. <laughs> no, we're starting over. Start over. Ready? Go. Three weeks. No, people. we're not starting with the three weeks. <laughs> I'm excited. A lot has happened since we connected. What has happened? Well, Transformers came out. You didn't like that. I, I it's still grouchy about it. Yeah. The pat, the last 15 so, minutes, good. Uh, Megan Fox was not in that one. No, and you know why? She didn't like the way that Michael Bay had written her into this film. Oh. Like the angles and whatnot right. of her super hotness. Mm, I have that problem too. The <laughs> you angles do? of my super hotness. <laughs> if you had a body double, who would you choose? <laughs> who would I choose? Yeah. John Goodman. Maybe? <laughs> oh, that's not even true at all. <laughs> I would um. I would love to be Jennifer Aniston because she's just hot anyways, but because you get so much free smart water. <laughs> love smart water. <laughs> Guess what's coming out this week? What's coming out? So excited. Why am I excited, Steve? Because it's got animals. Talking animals. Talking animals. Griffin, we need to talk. Oh, crud. How long have you been able to talk? Let's see, today's Tuesday, so, um, always. You're the best zookeeper we ever had. We don't want you to leave. You listen to us, we'll show you how to get the girl. You think I should just maybe ask her out? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, slow it down, hot shot. You need to unlock your inner bear. Roar. Well, 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 no, no. Roar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There you go! Hey! Talking animals, Kevin James. Kevin James is like on my list of men that I would love to spend time with. I don't think he should ever be like this super fit guy. I think he's just perfect. I think he's perfect the way he is. I like I'm love all for him. that. There's enough super fit guys in this world. You know, they're so overrated. That's right. I love, I love him. So he plays um, a zoo caretaker named Griffin. What a great name. And um, he can't find a girlfriend. He can't find love. So he thinks if he leaves his zoo job, he's going to meet this like amazing, glorified, gorgeous woman mm -hmm. outside of the zoo. Right. Until the animals find out that he's leaving. Because they don't want him. They don't want him to leave because they love him. They love him. And so uh, they start to come to real life and show their true colors and let him know that they can speak and communicate. So it's rated G. It's a family film. It's so much fun. Horrible Bosses is coming out this weekend, and I'm so excited about this movie. I love these guys that are in it. Jason Bateman. I'm so glad that he... What did he play back in the day? Remember, like, well, back was, in the day day? He was Michael Bluth in uh, Rest of Development. Great. That was kind of a breakthrough. It came back, and he was... I know. Up, and then everyone realized, this guy's funny. Jason Sudeikis with... Uh, He's on SNL, but he's all over the place right now. He's hysterical. But that's not the reason why I want to see this. The reason why I want to see this is for Colin Farrell. Oh my gosh, he never plays like a silly, crazy, like balding, weird haired guy. They did a really good job with the look on that, didn't they? We need to trim some of the fat. What do you mean by trim the fat? I want you to fire the fat people. They're lazy and they're slow and they make me sad to look at. You can start with large Marge. Marge, can you come in here, please? What? You would have to admit our lives would be easier if our bosses weren't alive. You can fire Professor Xavier. You mean Hank? Creeps me out, rolling around all day in a special little secret chair. I don't care how bad our bosses are, we're not murderers. Oh, Dale, you know that I like to fool around. Oh. This is bad, 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 bad. You know what? That's crossing the line. They enjoy their jobs, but they hate their bosses. And so they go out and they all have a bunch of cocktails one night. And then they run into Jamie Foxx, who I think is so funny. He convinces them to kill the bosses. And that's what it's about. So, yeah. It's just the whole thing. I hope people love it because I think it's so worth it to go check it out because I think the acting is going to be hysterical in it. So that's what's happening this weekend. So you can go see Talking Animals or you can go see a really funny group of guys that would like to kill the bosses. Um, last night I watched The King's Speech. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Yeah, I yeah. have. So good. I don't know why it took me that long to watch it. It inspired me for what is going to be in my VCR. What is in Jill's VCR <laughs> this week? A fish called Wanda. A fish called so Wanda. Great. 1988, I believe. Yeah. Is a man of I many love that much. Hey, I love fish. everything about it. That'll squeeze a lemon, some tartar sauce. Ken Buck is a man of few words. <laughs> Tell him from me. <laughs> George is the man with the plan. Thirteen millions, my friends. And Wanda. Do you speak Italian? Molto pericoloso. Is the woman they love. They all set out to commit the perfect crime. A fish called Wanda. 
All right. And now I'm excited about that. It's going to be a great weekend, Jill. It's going to be a great weekend. Thank Stay you. Good inside. to see you again. Yeah, you too. All right. It's been a minute. I apologize unreservedly. Are you totally deranged? Get ready to old champ.